Well, hello everybody. In this tutorial, we are going to do a test with an RS-485 USB converter and an RS-485 shield. I am assuming you guys are using an Arduino Uno. If you have another board, read the corresponding page in the link I am leaving at garagelab.com and the products we are using in our tutorials you may buy in our web store garagelabstore.com and for more videos don't forget to subscribe in your youtube channel as well okay um, well first of all the RS485 shield allow multiple devices up to 32 to communicate on a single pair of wires plus a ground wire at distances up to 40,000 feet with a maximum data rate of 10 megabits per second. Um, using it with your Arduino may be very, very useful, helpful. Okay, so let's have a quick description in what we need to make this happen. Of course, on Arduino Uno. Okay, a shield RS485, a breadboard, um, a converter to USB R4 spies, some jumper wires, a push button, resistor, and a potentiometer 10K. Okay, and let's, let's build our secret. Now you will be glad in knowing what that you will find all the layout and code we are using in this tutorial in our social web garagelab.com and our um, let's have a look in our sketch. Well first we need to initialize our variables, they will be potentiometer, a push button key, and the received value. And well, we do a serial begin 9600 rate and then set the pin 4 as an input and P6 as an output. Through the loop section, the zip if function here will read our serial monitor input and attach the received potentiometer and key values. We have all the serial monitor prints and writes. So, before you upload your sketch, make sure you take out these two jumpers here from this corner of your shield and jumper 4 and 5, okay? And you can plug your USB cable and upload your sketch. Once you have done that, Unplug your USB cable, put back the two jumpers we have talked about, and just put a 9 volt battery in your Arduino. Now we can do a serial communication between our Arduino and uh, this converter here. And to communicate this converter with your computer, um, you can use a mini serial U cable. So this, you have some autonomy with this section here, and you can plug any sensors or any other peripheral on your Arduino, and grab these three wires here in a distance of up to 4,000 feet. Okay, and then communicate with your computer. So, um, you have now to open the serial monitor and type the letter A. You will see this print up in your serial monitor and you, once we change our potentiometer position or the key 
the push button key value, the value printing the screen will change. I think I have showed everything so far. And thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.